phone to you. We have the first question. Cal, I'm just curious, uh, Terrence didn't start tonight. Was there any particular reason behind that? And obviously he, he played pretty well when he did get in. Um, he was sick yesterday. He had a chest cold in practice, and it's just something. What, if anything, was different about the way he played coming off the bench? We mounted them. Just went after balls. He went after balls with two hands above the rim. Uh, but he got winded in the first half. He took himself out. Uh, but he played good. You know, he had a lot of stuff around the goal. Um, you know, he made a couple threes. But to be honest with you, I'm sitting on the bench saying, we're not winning with him shooting threes. Now, he may shoot one or two or three. That's not why we win. We'll win because he'll go rebound and score around the goal. He'll score on drives. He'll score on stick backs. If he makes a couple threes, okay. But that's not, you know, if that's what he got from this, then we're in trouble. That's fool's gold. <clears throat> Hood came in early. Was that because of uh, Jones taking himself out or was? No, I'm, I'm trying to see if, you know, we're going to be able to use some of these guys in the, in the higher level SEC games. So gave him an opportunity and, you know, you got to perform. If you don't, try to stay see a little bit, try to eloy a little bit, but, you know. On the flip side, Cal, what did you think of Duran as a starter? He was fine. I still don't think he's playing hard enough. I don't think he runs the floor hard enough, um, you know. But he's, he's a skilled guard, but he's, 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 he's doing what, I, what Chris Douglas did when I was at UMet or Memphis. Chris Douglas didn't have enough of a motor, and I used to be on him every day and on him in practice. You got no motor, kid. Go watch Rip Hamilton play. You understand what a motor is. You got to come off screens hard. You got to sprint that floor. You got you to be shooting balls before you catch it, all those things. But it's typical of young kids. They don't understand. Terrence doesn't understand how hard you got to play and compete, um, which is why we got beat at Georgia. I mean, you just, they wanted it worse. They got to balls. They finished the game when it was tied up. They made defensive stops, and we didn't. And they, you know, executed better than us. We broke down on offense. So, you know, that's what we have right now. Cal, along those lines, how do you think the team responded to some of those areas you were concerned with from Saturday? I was still, there were some things that I was angry about today again. I mean, I, we got to get better. This, this, the way we're playing, at spurts, we're really good, and at other times, we're not beating one of the better teams in our league. We won't beat the best teams in our league. We just won't. And so we've got to get better. We've got to get better executing. I mean, you know how many breakouts we ran people over? Uh, we had a box-to-box -box that we threw away. Uh, we had, uh, they trapped us a little bit, and we picked up the ball. We had baskets around the goal that we just didn't get in. I mean, you, you, against a good team, think about it got to make those. We did. Um, we got a ways to go. Josh, Josh reverted to a year ago. That's why he sit down playing somebody else. He didn't have a rebound in the first half. Every ball he went after with one hand. That was who he was a year ago. Well, then you don't deserve to be on the court. And a lot of times guys are reading stuff, what they're saying about it. And all of a sudden you change how you play and then you go right back. And when you go down that slippery slope, that's exactly what it is, slippery. And it's hard to come back up. And that's why I'm, I'm trying to make sure, you know, we, we keep the pressure on this team. And that's what I'm doing. Just keep the pressure on this team to perform and get better. Cal, what about uh, Fargus as far as what you've been working on him in practice to get better? And It's not working right now. <laughs> but it's early. And, and it's the same I told he and I told uh, John Hood and I told Stacy Poole. We've only had four workouts. One of them, and I won't tell you which one, after 15 minutes threw up. So that's where they are right now. They're just, they're really, they're far behind. And so I'm going to keep spending time with them. Is it conditioning thing? Or? Both conditioning, both toughness, both uh, 
uh, defining the things that they should do. What's happened is the things that we talked about and we worked on, they go in the game and they're not doing it. those exact things because they're not habits yet. They, they have those other habits. <coughs> but like I said, I, I'm, my whole mindset is Stacy and John Hood and Eloy are going to help us before the season's over. And that's my, it's on, it's on. That's how I'm looking at it. I'm going to just keep working and pushing, but I'm also going to be hard on it. Look, if you can't take me, how are you going to go on a high-level game that's on national television and make a tough play? You can't take me. How? I, I don't know. And that's why the guys, they can take me when I get on it, and they respond to that. They're not phased in the game. The guys that are, like, rattled and get petrified, how are you going to play in a high-level game? And that's part of the reason I've gotten on guys. I got on, on uh, uh, Darius today, and, and I told him, I said some things in the hot water. And I said, that you guys watch. He won't do this, this, and this when I put him back. Well, he did one of those things. If I was him, I'd have looked right at me. I'd have looked right at me. Yeah? You don't think I can do that? It may not say anything, but I'd have looked right at the coach like, yeah. And I'd have loved it. I, it something came out. You know what I mean? Where is that lion, that tiger? Come on out. Where is it? You know why? He's too nice a kid. Well, and then you, you, the career's over. When we're done here, you're done. You either come out and fight and that toughness and and he's a great kid. And I, you know, like I said, I, I see him as being all conference. And there are times he is, and there are other times he, he reverts, and we gotta get him steadier. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the rebounding and maybe more so it does appear that you guys are still looking for that edge, that little bit of toughness still. Yeah, we you know, we out rebound him by a rebound. And, you know, they get 15 offensive rebounds. I mean, that's what I'm, you know, and, and, and as you watch some of them, guys just thought it was okay. Part of it is you get up, and, and, le and let me say this. One, this was a really hard game for me to coach because of Tony. Someone had to lose the game. And I absolutely did not want it to be me. But I also knew that if he lost, that, you know, I, I feel for him. I know what that feels like. And so... That made it hard, but you got to admit, he did a lot of things to keep his guys in position to stay in the game. He never stopped coaching, and they never stopped executing. Matter of fact, they executed better than we executed. And he's he's got, and they never stopped playing. They never quit. And every tape I've seen, that's what I'm seeing. So just, I want you to envision this team over the next two to three years with players as good as anybody in our league, because that's what you're going to see. That's what you will see. Um, got a lot of faith in him, and he had Grandma there, who I hadn't seen in a while, and his aunt was there, who I hadn't seen in a while. I was looking for his mom. His mom wasn't there, but uh, again, hard game to coach. John, there was a, a sequence where Aloy uh, had to kind of battle for a rebound, and he, he kind of sort of ripped it away from them. The crowd really reacted to that. What, what, what do you see in that? Well, that's our crowd trying to help coach this kid. It's our crowd knowing, Eloy, you've got to get balls. And when he got one, think about what you just said. He just grabbed a ball that gave him a standing ovation. <laughs> he got a standing ovation for grabbing a ball because they know if you can do that, he can leave you in the games. And we need you to stay in the game some. So that, that were 25,000 coaches that sit up in the stands behind me. So you like that? No, I thought it was great. That's kind of like DeAndre. He dives on the floor and does something. They give him a standing o. Um you know, Terrence goes and gets a rebound above the rim. You know, he makes a three, don't say anything, just move. <laughs> <laughs> but if he goes and rebounds and blocks, and does, everybody goes nuts. Just let them know what we're all trying to see. And our fans are smart. They know. John, you've talked before about the danger of Josh reading his own clippings. And I'm wondering if maybe that was part of what we of Terrence's deal is he read some of his own clippings as well as you. Well, the other side of this may be they're feeling it. You think about Josh all of a sudden, they're, they're talking about Josh being this, that, and the other. you got to live up to that. Terrence is having to live up to how he played in Hawaii and against Notre Dame. Every game he plays now, he's judged against those performances. It's not what I'm saying. It's his own performance that we all saw with our eyes. That's hard. That's hard. Brandon Knight having to live up to what's being said about him, or even Deron, who had a, you know, a, a, a freshman record day. Now all of a sudden, we want to see you play hard every game. Hard to live up to that, and then the pressure of trying to.
to stay on top of that. Understand their high school seasons will be over in about a week. And their season's over. Guess what? We're just starting our season. So we've just gone three months, four months, harder than they've ever gone in their life, and we're like halfway. What? So, you know, there's, they're feeling it a little bit, and I'm fine with that. But that's when you find out the guys that are going to be tough and the guys are going to help us get by. Thank you. Okay, Alex Gonzalez, well, you mentioned how Terrence is career for Cole's goal, but when he goes out there and makes four or five, he's probably going to want to keep shooting. How do you get disciplined enough to know where Well, here's it my thing. Out. It's like Josh. If you go in there and rebound and make baskets, and every once in a while you have a three, that's fine. But if you think his percentage for the year is like 33%, well, then Darius and DeAndre and Ron and Brandon should shoot him before you. They shoot a higher percentage. Now, this game you were four for five. On a year, you're probably, he's probably 35%. Those other guys are all over 40. So go in and rebound and play for the us percentages of what we have to do to win. But I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he, he showed some initiative. And we're going to have a day off tomorrow, the first day of classes for the guys. So we'll just tell them, take a day off, no lift, no nothing. Get your classes underway. And we'll come back Thursday and Friday and get ready for uh, LSU on Saturday. Thanks, guys.